Hi guys, welcome to the other episode of Ink from the West. Today we're playing 18 floors and this will be the second floor. And without further ado, let's start! In this uh, hallway, you need to align the trolleys to the corresponding Roman numerals to get uh, the corresponding door open. So since that one is one, right? I am dragging this trolley, uh, this trolley <laughs> on this side of the train to number one. There you go. So uh, door number one is open. Now we are in room number one, and let's see, there is a chest. Um, there, uh, okay, so you can drag this out, and there are two puzzles I can see, right? The first one, well, let's come to the painting first, and you will see 1683. That will be your first uh, clue. No, not, not a clue, it's your um, answer for the, for the puzzle on the right. So 1683. And now there's a clock on the neck uh, next to the code. And if you look closely on the painting, you will see a clock. So you turn a clock to 1040. And ba voila, you open the chest and you grab the key out. By insert a key into one of the drawers, you will get something really cool. Look at it. Ta-da! It's a magnifying glass, but just without the glass. So how do you get the glass? You break the glasses, the, 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 the crystal glass next to it. All right. So you will grab that and that will act as a uh, magnifying, magnifying glass lens. Wow, that's a mouthful. All right, so you grab that and now we need to readjust the trolleys to let door three open. And now it is open. Remember to grab the magnifying glass into the room. This room is a little tricky. There are a lot of things going on in this room. So first, move the couch and you will find a hammer underneath the couch. All right. Second, you will find a piece of paper on the table and by, you know, looking closely, closely at it, you will see that the number it's saying is three, two, nine. Although later on you do find another piece of the, the, the paper shows you that it's three, two, nine, but it's still distinguishable at this point. So three, two, nine, you open it, you will find a board, turning board looking what, what, and then you will need two other items to unlock that. So at this point, I just want to show you that this is a fan. So you can turn it on by turning on the, the control. All right, so take a look at this closet. By aligning, since you know different levels of the shelf has a different divider, by aligning the dots on the uh, on the panel, you can get the door open, and you will get that star in one of the shelves. One of the shelves. You also get a book, but it doesn't do anything. All right, so once again, you want to stand on top and you will get that. It's a handle. Look at it. It's a handle for fan. And at this point, room one is open and uh, it doesn't have a fan handle. So by turning on the fan, you will get another piece of the puzzle. It's a fancy looking cross. All right, so you put that back and you unlock the chest by turning the uh, the turning circuit what what <laughs> there's a dot in the center too there's a line you have to align so by adjusting it this, this part was very difficult because of the, uh, how weird the controller was right, right. Right, so you'll get a board you also get a little train train cart. Of course, the train thingy goes to here. At this point, you just can put it on. It doesn't matter. All right, so you go back to the room, right? And you will get that board, the circle board, the magic board. And then you come back to room one, put it on. There you go. But nothing happens. 
yet. So now you want to come back here. There's something that I <clears throat> think you need to get first. Magnifying glass. Look at this painting. There's a magnifying glass there too. So it's telling you that, hey, better use it. So by using a magnifying glass next to the person, you will see that there is a something, something that's out of this dimension. It's a staff or a scepter. So why do we need a scepter? You will see in a minute. So I just put it on the table. Where to put it. All right, come back to room three. You'll also get uh, a paper with some constellation sign looking dot connecting what what on it. All right, at, at this point, you'll want to eat some escargot. The more the better. <laughs> When your vision turns green, as you turn around, you will see the magic circle. And you use the scepter to match, uh, to, to put it in the hole. And the thing here opens, and you will get a part of the, uh, the train track. This is very close to the end already, guys. So you put the train track on, and you put the train on. And the little animation starts. Okay, what, what? Go. So after this train disappears, a board of uh, flashing dots shows up. Okay. So that's when you want to grab that piece of paper with the constellation sign on it. And this is the correct uh, angle. So you want to match the dots on the uh, on the door as it is on the paper. So the more correct you did it in, the order you did it in, uh, the brighter it gets. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I guess it's time to go in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more thing. There's one more thing. Um, <laughs> room number two. I totally forgot number two. So, room number two. Remember the hammer that we got, right? Because <laughs> people are thinking, like, you didn't even use the hammer. That's right. So you come to room number two with uh, the hammer. And you smash open the door. Ba bang And it's weird looking. Yeah, no me gusta. I don't like it. So you put the incense on the lady. Turns into that light. I Basically, this is an introduction of her. And she's like, you know, girl, I'm this goddess of the sea and what what. And I'm here to take your life. Something like that. I don't know. I didn't spend time reading it. Well, I did. It just wasn't important to me. Well, that's it, guys. That's it. This is 18 floors. This is second floor, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, I will do floor three next time. I'll see you next time.